No anguish is comparable to spending years with someone who looks so promising, so rich in endowments and being unable to reach the promised land. The narcissist is like an ever-receding mirage, like a Fata Morgana, an oasis in the desert, full of palm trees and water and nourishing food, and yet never accessible, never reachable. The more you pursue the narcissist, the more the illusion or the hallucination evaporates. It's like trying to capture a cloud or an apparition or an ectoplasm. The narcissist holds your dreams. The narcissist induces in you a state of fantasy. The narcissist raises your hopes to a fever pitch and then he drops you down like so much discarded trash. And it is this contrast between idealization and discard or devaluation, it is this contrast that breaks your heart to smithereens and you can't put it back together no matter how hard you try. And of course, the narcissist recreates with you the very dynamics that had given, ri given rise to his own pathology. His mother did this, did this to him. She had idealized him, pedestalized him, spoiled him, pampered him, and then abruptly dropped him and became abusive. And he's doing this to you. His mother did not allow him to separate and become an individual, breached his emerging boundaries, and he's doing this to you. The narcissist is reenacting his early childhood conflicts, dilemmas, crisis, and anguish with you. He wants to share his pain with you by inducing it in you. He wants you to experience his torment, and so he tortures you. None of this is conscious. The narcissist, unlike the psychopath, is not a scheming, cunning, evil, malevolent entity. He's just who he is. And that's even more infuriating. It's easy to deal with someone who is simply bad, someone who is simply evil. Because this is human. The psychopath is an exaggerated human being. The psychopath wants money or sex or power. And he would do anything to get it and he would trample on anyone to get there. And that's a human trait, essentially. We're all psychopathic sometimes. But the narcissist is not like that. The narcissist can't, can't help being himself. And there's no self there. There's nobody there. It's an absence, a howling void, a black hole, a nothingness. And the more you try to reach into this dark recess of his mind, the more you're sucked in. And the, inf the, 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 the thing that you can't wrap your mind around is the, is the discrepancy between the alluring, shimmering facade that the narcissist presents to you and the fact that there's nothing but a facade. It's all ersatz, it's all fake, it's a Potemkin village. It's nothing but an appearance, or, more precisely, an apparition.